Amazing Fantasy 15, Spider-Man's first appearance, opens with the paragraph, Like costumed heroes? Confidentially, we in the comic mag business refer to them as long underwear characters. And, as you know, they're a dime a dozen. But, we think you may find our Spider-Man just a bit different. And different he was. Spider-Man was a revolutionary character in the comic book industry. Spidey was one of the first heroes in tights to be relatable to the reader. And that made him special. He had a costume like no other, a pretty unique power set, and was a teenager who wasn't a sidekick. All these differences made Spider-Man stand out among the superheroes of the Silver Age, and led him to becoming the face of Marvel Comics. There is one slight difference with the character, though, that many people don't address, and that's because it isn't very significant. That difference is what we are going to talk about today. My name is Joshua C, and today I'm going to tell you the many possible origins of the hyphen in Spider-Man's name, and it's probably unintentional hidden message. Spider-Man's hyphen often goes unrecognized among mild fans of the webhead, but to Spider-Man fans, it would be an oddity for our favorite web-headed wall crawler not to have the hyphen. It's a minor detail that makes the word Spider-Man look amazing. But the thing is, Spider-Man didn't start out with the hyphen, at least not consistently. In Amazing Fantasy 15, Spider-Man's first appearance, the character's name was in different forms. Spider-Man's name had a space between it on the cover, while Spider-Man's name had a hyphen on the speech bubble on the cover and in the first page of the comic. And for the rest of Amazing Fantasy 15, there was no space between Spider-Man's name. It wasn't until The Amazing Spider-Man Issue 2 where Spider-Man's name was finalized, consistently having a hyphen. Which begs the question, why? Why did Stan Lee or whoever put the hyphen in place to put this what would be at the time a very peculiar punctuation mark? Well, that is the question I'm going to answer today. Let's turn to the first thing in mind when you think about a hyphen. Grammar. And I promise I'll make this section as brief and understandable as I possibly can, so please don't click away. Anyway, let's do this. Does the word Spider-Man have a hyphen because of grammatical purposes? Well, let's find out by talking about the hyphen itself. A hyphen is a punctuation mark that is usually used to either connect two words together or used to point out the division of a certain word at the end of a line. Hyphen usage, usually discussed in school, is more on the first use I mentioned, joining two words together. Hyphens connecting two words together often come into play when compound modifiers are being used to describe a noun. This does not apply to the word Spider-Man though, because Spider-Man is a compound word, which is a noun. There are three classifications of compound words, and Spider-Man fits into one of them, which is the hyphenated compound word. They are t two words connected by a hyphen to make up one word. Most hyphenated compounds actually lose their hyphen over time, like the word Batman and the word teenager, which I did not actually know until I searched uh, about compound words for this video, so yeah. Anyway, these words are called closed compounds, which are just basically two words fused together to form one. It's 
pretty self-explanatory. So, is the word Spider-Man grammatically correct? Yes, but even if it didn't have a hyphen, it would be totally fine. So, if grammar had absolutely nothing to do with the writers, probably Stanley, placing the hyphen in Spider-Man's name, then why did they do that? Well, Stanley actually answered this question years ago on Twitter, saying that he wanted to differentiate Spider-Man and the Man of Steel, just for clarification's sake, so nobody would be confused with both of them. This actually makes a good amount of sense, seeing as both of the letters used in both of their names are almost the same. So, question answered, right? Stan Lee put a hyphen in Spider-Man's name so readers won't be confused between the two characters. Much like Dr. Octopus did in his first appearance against the webhead. Okay, so this answer might be true, but there is a chance it also might be false. I've told this story so often it might even be true. I, I can't remember. <laughs> but I was sitting and I saw a fly crawling on the wall. Stanley, who sadly died on my birthday last year. You know, I don't want to remember it. But anyway, Stanley is a storyteller. And oftentimes when recalling incidents from the past, can't really remember if what he's saying is true or not. So... If Stanley didn't tell the truth on his tweet, then what is another possible reason for Spidey to have a hyphen? Some have theorized that Stanley may have put the hyphen in Spider-Man's name to differentiate him from Superman, but not for the sole purpose of clarity, but because he was afraid of being sued by DC Comics. See, DC Comics was overprotective with their characters, especially our favorite Big Blue Boy Scout. National Comics, which was the name of DC Comics at the time, sued multiple companies for characters who resembled the Man of Steel in some way, shape, or form. Among these heroes was Fawcett Comics's Captain Marvel, whose books were outselling The Last Son of Krypton's at the height of his career. Captain Marvel didn't actually have much similarities with soups, yet National Comics decided to sue the company anyway. Because of this long court case, Fawcett Comics ended up settling out of court, paying DC $400,000, which would be roughly around $3.9 million today, and stopping the production of Captain Marvel Comics. Marvel might have been scared that their new character, who unexpectedly became a huge success, could possibly be screwed over by DC. Another theory about the origin behind Spidey's hyphen, which is the last one I'm going to talk about today is that maybe the creators behind the webhead found out about the first Spider-Man, who was a villain of Captain Marvel who appeared in Wiz Comics issue 89, 15 years before the webhead even swung on to the comic book scene. He was an odd villain who had a weapon that squirts out a liquid plastic, which then becomes a sticky thread. In Wiz Comics issue 89, his first and last appearance, wonder why he never appeared again, he sticks some guards in a big spider web and later on even squirts some of that stuff into Billy Batson's face, which might have gone into his mouth, which is Totally disgusting. Spider-Man for Shazam 2, everybody. Anyway, since Spider-Man was a really, really odd villain, the creators at Marvel 
wanted to probably make it clear that this new amazing Spider-Man is not, you know, that guy. I doubt we will ever know the true origin behind Spider-Man's hyphen, but whether intentional or not, I think because of the hyphen, it gave the word Spider-Man a truly awesome hidden meaning. Spider-Man isn't the only character with a hyphen. There's Ant-Man, Namor, the Submariner, He-Man, and the list goes on. But Spider-Man's hyphen, coincidentally or not, shows an important element of the character that was rare among the superheroes at the time. Spidey's hyphen emphasizes and makes us focus on the man portion of this word, and that it's separate yet joined to spider. The factor that made the webhead such a success wasn't his unique power set or his spectacular costume, it was his human side. Spider-Man without Peter Parker isn't a very compelling character. Peter Parker was somebody who the readers could identify with and relate to due to the fact that he had problems many teenagers were also experiencing. He is one of the first truly relatable characters in the comic book industry. The comic's content could be seen in the word itself, with the hyphen combining both a superhuman element featuring the wall crawler and a human element starring the everyman Peter Parker, making the book both comically exciting yet so realistically relatable, which in turn made the character of Spider-Man the icon he is today. Who knew a punctuation mark in a superhero's name could convey a cool message. When readers picked up their first Spider-Man comic, excluding Amazing Fantasy 15, they probably recognized the hyphen and thought, wow, that makes the title look so cool. Or maybe they looked a bit closer through this precious punctuation mark and realized that this character might be more human than they ever thought possible. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Spider-Man's hyphen? Throughout this whole video, I've been describing it as if it's something that makes the word Spider-Man look good, but that might not be the case for all of you guys. Also, which one of the theories or reasons behind Spider-Man's hyphen do you think is the true one? Do you think it's one of them, or maybe do you think it's a combination of two or three. Also, do you think I was right about the meaning behind Spider-Man's hyphen? You might think otherwise. Maybe you don't think there is a meaning, or maybe you think there's a different meaning in Spider-Man's hyphen. Well, if so, then please feel free to leave a comment down below talking about your thoughts on this video and Spider-Man's hyphen. Also, feel free to correct me down below because I probably said something wrong. But anyway, my name is Joshua and I will see you in the next comic book video, which will probably be about Spider-Man.